My name is Beckett and welcome back to the channel. And today in Division 2, we're going to be checking out Cassie Mendoza, Division 2's secret vendor. Now, if you don't know how to find her, you have to first locate the snitch. Now, if you are having trouble finding them, if you stick around past the loot, I will show you a couple locations where I always find the snitch. It's very easy and you'll probably get it on the first time. But before we get started, if you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe. And if you like the video, smash that like button. All right, we're over at Cassie and we have the mechanical animal now this is a very great weapon it has a wonderful talent future perfection weapon kills grant plus one skill tier for 19 seconds stacks up to three times now this is really great if you can get this and run a hybrid build with it it is very fun although we don't have the best rolls but if you were going to pick it up just re-roll magazine to damage to target out of cover and just save up those mats for that optimization station next we have the battery pack not a big fan of this but if you are running a skill build where you are really needing that cooldown just kills from cover reduce skill cooldowns by 15 seconds next we have the shield splinter but I think you can only pick this up if you've already done the quest line for all 12 hunter masks in DC but it just came with a bad roll this week next we have the true patriot backpack mid-tier roll just go ahead and find a better one out in the world as well as negotiators dilemma another mid-tier roll I would just suggest farming this out in the open world and to be honest the chess piece isn't that great keeping five marks at all times is kind of a challenge unless you're in a legendary setting we have the tip of the spear not a bad roll almost max and then you could just re-roll that if you wanted to run a headshot damage build. If you wanted to run a crit hit damage build, it is up to you. We have hardwire knee pads. Another great set. You can always pick this up on the open world or you can just craft it. But you would just re-roll that to max skill damage. Now we have the holster for the Hunter's Fury. And just a bad roll. Go find something better out there. And another hardwire. We have a lot of hardwire this week. And not a bad roll. And honestly, just go ahead and re-roll that to skill skill damage and you're going to be good to go other than that that's all we really have this week from cassie best thing i can say is that mechanical animal isn't that bad but otherwise i would probably just wait till you can find a better one out in the open world now if you're looking for other videos i do build videos tutorials division 2 news everything for old players to new players and everything in between and thanks again for watching to get to cassie mendoza and get her sweet goods we we need to find the snitch aka jared nash and he's randomly about the map in different places but he always has the same spawn location so he'll always be in the same places but he's just going to be in different places there's different maps and stuff you can find uh throughout the internet and online through reddit and stuff like that but they really don't help there's a few spots where we can always find them and i'm going to show you how to do that the best spots where i always find them i went through about 50 60 <laughs> different locations where i see online where people always oh, always he's always here no he's never here and the map doesn't help they said that there'll be activities throughout the map and it will disappear when you get close to him but it's not that easy because you can only see the the question marks above his head when you're like 20 30 feet away from him but we're gonna find him and it, it's not gonna be that hard and the trickiest part is gonna be to complete his bounty that he drops so let's get started and show you where he's at guys all right guys first place we're gonna stop by and try to find the snitch at is at the truman safe house it's in foggy bottom and we're gonna be looking for him right next to a little lockbox directly across the street, directly to the west. You can see right where I marked it. So if you have not unlocked that or have not found it yet in the world, it's not gonna show up. So just click on the map there and just start walking there. It's really easy to find. There'll be a couple trucks around the area as you'll see. All right, once you run up the hill, it'll be right on our left. You'll see the lockbox, and you can just usually shoot up the fence. I usually come here first every time because it's new day refresh get free loot maybe i get something but usually <laughs> never get anything else and jared nash or the snitch he'll be right behind there right behind this truck uh as you can see you got to be really close to see him guys uh he won't even pop up unless you're like 20 feet away from him and there he is luckily we got him right when we headed to the truman house and we're going to accept his bounty once you complete that bounty We'll be able to find Cassie, but I'm going to go into more detail in a sec. We're going to go into a couple other locations. Okay, the next location is going to be the Lincoln Memorial. 
And we're going to just fast travel straight to that spawn point. And as soon as we get there, we're just going to turn around. And we're just going to start running down, heading towards the Washington Monument. Just heading down there. We're going to hug hug the right side. We're going to see like a little forest, a group of trees. And we're just going to keep running. Usually, he's not here. But every once in a while, he will be. One thing to note is if he's in combat or there's any like fighting NPCs fighting with each other around the map we're not going to be able to find him but today he was here usually when there's nobody here he'll always be here but if there's just one NPC just one dude hanging out he gets skittish and he runs away I think it's just part of it if there's any combat he just won't spawn in I don't know why it is, but let's move on to the next spot. All right, our third spot is going to be over in DZ East. We're not going to actually go in the DZ. We're just going to go to the checkpoint. And the checkpoint is called Charlie Checkpoint. It's the northernmost one up top. You'll be able to find it. And we're just going to leave and head out the door. And we're just going to start heading directly to our right. And you're going to see some ladders up on the side, up on the side of the building. Yep, right up there. And we're going to climb up. And he's going to be up inside these office buildings. Uh, usually would be probably be able to see him right now if he was there. But I don't think he is there this time. So hopefully he's there next time. But I usually don't find him here. But every once in a while you get lucky and it's a really close spot. Alright guys, we are on the final spot. And this is probably the best spot to find the snitch any time of the week. If you come here Tuesday right when the servers reset, I almost find them here every single time. Sometimes I'll just log out and come back to the spot and it's really easy to find them. So we are heading to 1040 Safe House and we are gonna be going out the Southeast exit today and it's really hard, hard to miss. Uh, this guy's really easy to find and almost there probably 90% of the time, I'd say nine out of 10 times I come to look for him, he is here, so I would always check here. I just like to check the Truman house just because, you know, there's always loot. So we're just going to head out of the southeast exit and just run straight ahead, going down this windy little path, and we're going to end up taking our left. I ended up taking a little detour because I had tunnel vision and I can't stay on track at all. So we'll head back, but when we go down that path, we're just going to head left. And we're just going to go straight ahead and we're going to take our very next left and you'll just see a little gate and you'll run through and we're going to run through all the way to the end and eventually you'll see that little green triangle over his head and he's back here and there's a weapon box that you can open too and you'll see him there and we're just going to accept his bounty and we're going to grab it. If you already did the bounty, great. And you just got to go and head over to Cassie. 